Uganda, like several other African countries, is facing the rough test of climatic change consequences resulting from deliberate human activities that have for many decades been done to destroy the environment. Although almost every sector has been adversely impacted, agriculture has severely been affected in various ways, ranging from prolonged droughts, invasion of strange and drug-resistant crop pests and diseases, to unproductive soils that no longer facilitate crop production. Right now as a country, we are grappling with the issues of climate change. When it rains, we have floods, lightnings, landslides. When it shines, we have serious droughts, we have famine. The fact that climatic change effects are here to stay due to the continuing hostile human activities against the natural environment setup, yet the ever-growing population countrywide continues to demand for food products, farmers across the country have had no option except to resort to unselectively using farm inputs, mostly pesticides and fertilizers with an aim of improving on their seasonal yields, but on the contrary, this practice has left many of them helpless as it has resulted into several adverse effects due to mainly ignorance and poor application methods. <laughs> This has consequently escalated into more challenges with farmers failing to gain from the highly expensive farm inputs which occasionally are duplicated by dealers with selfish interests, at times applied wrongly, with no direction, sometimes even without protective gears, hence causing health threats, because several of these are hazardous and toxic. We have had a case whereby one of, one of the uh, a kid at one of the farm had drunk this uh, pesticide, thinking that it was like a, a drug chewing what? Chewing ulcers, and the kid, unfortunately died in Sambia hospital. So we have had a very fatal accident here. Even in this village, uh, there is a lady who has just reported us that there was a kid who took some a bottle which was not disposed of properly and then put water in that bottle and drank and then the kid fall sick. The Minister for Agriculture and Muhasbandri and Fisheries in the government of Uganda Vincent Bamulanga Chisempija acknowledges that farmers have greatly misused pesticides that are at their disposal but also regrets the rate at which locally manufactured and imported farm inputs are being adulterated by unscrupulous business people who sell them to farmers. The, the misuse has become a problem. We have, uh, you know, we are exporting to others who really care to, to, to find out uh, how much chemical we have used on, our, on, their, on the crops we are selling to them. Uh, and we have been getting bans from the European Union and the other markets. So we are now very conscious about the importation and even the uh, production of chemicals in, uh, for, for uh, pest control and, and other things. Sempija, however, says that these and many more tenancies by the business community are yet to be unheard of because his ministry has set up fresh guidelines to local manufacturers and dealers who import foreign inputs so as to regulate the business which apparently seems to be under no control. The, the issue of uh, pesticides and the chemicals is really a, a very, very complicated subject. But uh, I just want to say that uh, cabinet is soon coming up with a strategy and uh, um, uh, a policy on, on how, first of all, the, 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 to indicate to the public uh, how chemicals enter this country and where uh, they are coming from 
everything should be known. In fact, the farmer should even know, he's supposed to know where you get this chemical, where you get the chemical he's going to use from. And then he should also know the contents of that chemical. The United Nations Development Program, UNDP, in conjunction with other development partners, Small Grants Program, and the government of Uganda in 2017, started a two-year 30,000 US dollar campaign aimed at sensitizing farmers on the appropriate usage of pesticides, fertilizers, and above all, train them on how to make organic farm inputs from the locally available resources. The aim of this project was to reduce the abuse of pesticides. It was conceived under the Pope, resistant organic substances uh, or, or, or pesticides, which are really, which we, which we, 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 we thought that it is still being used by so many people in our area. The program was piloted for Mukono district, which is located approximately 25 kilometers east from the capital city Kampala in the central region of the country and in only three sub-counties of Seta, Namuganga, Chimenyede and Nakusunga being implemented by a local farmers association called Ubora, which has seen more than 60 farmers undergo vigorous sensitization trainings as Haj Sula Chivira, the program coordinator, explains. We have organized a lot of uh, seminars, workshops, meetings. We come to their farms and then we, we, we teach them the best practices of how to purchase these uh, drugs, how to keep them and how to apply them in the field. Uh, we found that many of them, almost 90 percent, we are not using protective gears when they are using category A of the, for example, of the pesticides, these which are poisonous. And you find that somebody, uh, for example, rocket is just uh, mingling rocket just using his own hands, without considering that this rocket is as poisonous as any other uh, poisonous thing which when it enters your body it can even kill you. Key of the program's objectives include reducing persistent use of toxic and forbidden pesticides which in the long run damage the environment, stimulate farmers' awareness on how to use different farm inputs for various purposes and sensitize them on the essence of using protective gears while applying or mixing farm chemicals. The objective of the donor was to reduce the poor resistant organic uh, pesticides from the environment, whereby we have the organochlorides, which we think that now our farmers will be using sparingly, and also those uh, pesticides which were forbidden, like the DDT, like uh, endosulfan, and other pesticides which are bad. We have taught our farmers, and they have to look at the list of the uh, pesticides which are allowed. So uh, the global objectives will be achieved. At the national level, we want our farmers to remain safe and also want to keep our environment safe out of, out of these old pesticides. We want the farmers, if they're using pesticides, they should only use the pesticides which are allowed and also they should do, use the, those pesticides which are highly toxic. Use them with the knowledge so that they don't harm their, own, their health and they don't harm also the environment. Um, got a new knowledge how to use this insecticide using these protective gears you can see they are very useful because when you use these protective gears you can protect life you can use these insecticides for a long time in life as the program gets to wind up to March 2018, beneficiary farmers have heaps of praises for it as they claim to have gained much out of it, including knowledge on smart agricultural practices which help crops to withstand the climate. This is our demonstration farm. And I remember in 2013, we received a grant from small scale or whatever and Ugora. Uh, we planted the type of trees you can see here as nitrogen fixing plants. This is uh, the type in Bokasha and whatever. We have another type there. Also, 
a very important tree. Mm, as you see, it is now shining, but you can see the a different issue here. Earlier on, we had worked with these people in this area, uh, still supported by UNDP uh, on a project of, for climate uh, change proofing. And that, by that time, we are really uh, doing some integration of uh, uh, tree planting, the trees which are helping the farmers to increase fertility of the soil and also integrating them with their uh, normal crops. So this one is one of the trees. Uh, in the local name is called what? Mugavu. Mugavu. It is a nitrogen fixing tree and also it sheds off its uh, leaves. Uh, so it, there's no problem for shading. Therefore, they, 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 you can see the crops which are under this tree are really very strong and very stout. I mean, they are very strong and very healthy. So this is one of the, this is one of the methods we are using to improve uh, the fertility of the, of the soil for these farmers in this area. These also were equipped with farm gears for protecting themselves while spraying pesticides, modern backpack pesticide pumps. Mr. Chibira, uh, for what you have given us in order to save our life, thank you very much. We thank the rest on behalf Bora. of Ubora and the small whatever. Small grant project. Small grant project. Thank you very much.